Okay, so if you're running the Streamlight TLR7 sub on your firearm, I think I got just a way to set this thing up perfectly. Let's take a look. All right, so here it is. I have my SIG P365XL with the Holosyn 507KX2 red dot and the Streamlight TLR7 sub. Now, the way I configured this light we're going to talk about, that's why I'm making this video, some people just may or may not know this. I mean, you know, the, the thing comes with high switches pre-installed. You also get a set of low switches come in the bag. You also get the tool. This tool is great, and we'll talk about this in a second. So you got two sets of switches. You got high switches and low switches. These are the high switches right here where you push down on top. The low switches, I'll show you on this side. I have the low one installed on this side or way down here. Just much nicer, in my opinion, on this side because it doesn't interfere with getting your finger into that trigger. So if you had to get into that trigger, there's nothing in the way now. On this side, it's just your support hand. So this works out well. So it's almost like a gas pedal. I can just hit that light, no problem with my thumb. It's right there. But on this side, when I had the high switch on there and trying to get my finger in there, I was hitting it because it's right here. Right when I'm going to put my finger in the trigger, it, it would hit it. So I put the low switch on this side. So if, you know, if I'm going around the house trying to clear a room or something, you know, your finger's on the side of the gun until you, you know you have to get in there. It's just that much easier just to hit it. And on this side, got the gas pedal style. Now to swap this out, it's just, it's super easy. There's a, there's another stream light that you got to take the whole back assembly off and there's gaskets and it's a little involved. This one is super simple. You get this tool that comes with it provided from stream light. There's just a pin here. It's a friction pin. You push that pin straight through, pull it out. This switch comes off. You can put the other switch on, slide the pin back in and it's done. So for me, guys, this works out great for me, again, because you don't want anything interfering with getting your finger into that trigger. So the low switch on the trigger side is how I'm running this. And then on my support side, gas pedal style, just hit it with my thumb. It's right there. So best of both worlds, high switch on the support hand, trigger side, I got the low, the low switch. And you can see that here. You can see the, the high switch is interfering with the trigger guard. Where the low switch is just it's perfectly in line with it so there's nothing it gets in your way if you had gloves on or something you want to train with this i think the way to run this is the low switch on on your trigger side and then the high switch on your support hand side so i just think for me this is the way i like to run it if you guys want to switch it out i highly suggest trying it this way it's a great way to run this light all right we're going to hop out for some final thoughts all right so that was a look at the tlr7 sub and how i have it configured on my carry gun let me know in the comments down below how you guys have yours set up if you like the high switches, the low, or you like the combination of the two. Also, if you like this kind of content, I'm going to leave a QR code here on the screen. If you guys want to make a donation and buy me a cup of coffee, that'd be great. If not, there's a free way to support the channel by hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.